Well, ironically, everything that happens in Israel, it's actually very inspiring in terms of art and creation. July was the blackest month of my life, and yet I've had ideas for five new songs at the same time. So I would rather give it up and not have that conflict, but I'm trying to make the best out of it. And that's good for creation because a lot of things are happening and there's a lot of things to talk about and, and we need to bring greater songs probably. Our themes were always about the Middle East and we were never too much pro-Israelis or pro-Palestinians. I think that anyone who picks a side is wrong because in wars there isn't any right or wrong. Everybody is wrong. Both Israelis and Palestinians both wrong and the biggest mistake is that there isn't any dialogue whatsoever. And I think that our responsibility as musicians, as people who succeed to enter the hearts of people from the region, it's very important um, to, to stay a musician and not to be a politician. And, and, and metal music is the best platform to, to do those kind of things because um, metal seems to be the best global village ever as we speak, and uh, I'm, I'm, a prou I'm proud to be a metalhead. I'm proud to be in a metal band coming from the Middle East. I think that we succeed to do many things that politicians don't do. And, and with that said, we are, we should be responsible, of course. And, and you know, last month I felt so, such a big desperation from everything. I was there running, running to shelter three times a day. I was running for shelter myself and those mails that I received from people, whether from Israel or Arabs, saying that we are a spark of light in this darkness, we give them hope, we give them, we give them some comfort in those days, music is a cure. They are the ones who motivate me to, to get up in the morning, to be stronger, to make it even better in the next time.